This bloody act was just a taste of things to come. In the next few years, an older England, which was itself the result of countless migrations and invasions, would be obliterated from memory. This transformation has been passed down through the generations as the story of one man's ruthless ambition. William's campaign north has been described as a scorched earth policy. It turned into ethnic cleansing as Anglo-Saxon landowners were driven out and new Norman landlords moved in. The castles they built were bigger, better, stronger, unlike anything England had seen before. And they said, not only have we defeated you, but we are here to stay. They raised new churches, and of course, their churches were also unlike anything England had seen before. Taller, more ornate, superior, like this one in Barfriston in Kent. In new churches like these, they would have given thanks for their good fortune in hitting the jackpot with England's rich and fertile land. But just how rich was it? 20 years after the invasion, they ordered a massive stock tick to find out. In town after town, village after village, every source of wealth was recorded by Norman inspectors. The invaders referred to it as the Great Survey, the conquered referred to their hellish day of reckoning as Doomsday. And as the wealth was entered into giant ledgers, the name Doomsday Book stuck. This very place is mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Now you might be surprised because it's so small, but that's exactly the point. Everywhere was important enough for the Doomsday Book. It tells us that its value in 1066 was 50p, that its household consisted of one poor woman. And then this is the really important bit. In 1086, the tenant in chief was not the Archbishop of nearby Canterbury, as you might suspect. It was Bishop Odo of Bayer. The Normans recorded England's wealth in such detail, not out of curiosity, but so that they could raise taxes. It is mine! William the Taxman just doesn't have the same ring to it as William the Conqueror, but that's exactly what he was. And these were taxes to pay for his armies, to pay for his court, to line his own pockets. England's new rulers used the Doomsday Book to estimate the wealth of their entire kingdom. And that knowledge helped transform England into one of the strongest and most cohesive countries in all of Europe. Gradually, the otherness of the Norman invasion faded into memory. Their vocabulary worked its way into our language. Years later, those French words, those words of invaders, became terms that we use to describe the finer things in life. Amorous, tranquil, or restaurant. But Anglo-Saxon words, on the other hand, were used to describe base things, like sweat or shit.